normally this clip that I'm about to play doesn't come out unless it's November Thanksgiving time but I'm gonna ask you to humor me for just a minute come on now tell us the rest I really don't know how to describe it it was like the turkeys mounted a counterattack. it was almost as if they were organized As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Okay, why that little 30-second interlude besides a cheap laugh? Because I know I laugh at it cheaply every time I see it. Well, that's because this is how WLS-TV in Chicago led its 10 o'clock newscast one night last week. Hitting a deer can be extremely dangerous for drivers, but tonight, a graphic warning about what else can happen this time of year. So just take a look. A family driving in northwest Indiana hit a wild turkey. You can see just how much damage that can do. Tonight, the father who was in that car is talking exclusively to ABC7 News. Rob Elgus is here with the story, Rob. Yeah, Alan, driving about 50 miles per hour on US-20, John Terabaccia says it looked like a tiny airplane coming right at him. Opening its wings too late, the turkey crushed his rental car windshield. His family stunned by what just happened. And out of nowhere, uh, this turkey starts flying. All I see, I see the wings open up, coming right towards me. Okay, we're talking about the number one station in the number three market on its newscast of record. That was the lead. The producer in me loves this story, but this is not a lead story. I would have run the story. I mean, no question about it. I would, no, I would have not led with the story. I would have run it. It's just too good a story to pass up as like a kicker for the end of the newscast. It's a kicker. It's not the lead. It isn't the lead. And, and then it's really hilarious because after they got some criticism for it, they tried to justify it by running a story a couple of days later saying, another attack has occurred in southern Indiana. A trooper's car was hit by a turkey and nothing bad happened there either, except to the turkey. I, 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 you know, the problem for this for me is they tried to make it sound like it was an a real emergency. Oh, it's a mating season for turkeys. Be careful when you're out on the roadways. And they just got caught doing what, unfortunately, too many television news producers are doing these days. And that's saying, well, we're competing against YouTube and the Facebook videos, all this viral stuff that's out there. The latest cat we're going to run this turkey thing. And, and it's just not going to produce the results they hope it's going to produce. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Maybe it was because, better that well, I accidentally the, the forgot problem, to send you the script before yeah, the show. But the problem is the straight. I mean, you're watching the clip, and it's a straight face. I mean, they're straight face telling the story, and I'm going like, how can you do that? It's I almost mean, like it's, WKRP yeah. with Les Nessman saying, oh, the humanity. Uh, yeah, it's just, I, I don't get it. Well, I and, don't and get it. The part that really concerns me is that we have, and Mike, you were starting to talk about this, we have this serious problem of audiences starting to walk away from television news because they're not feeling as though they're being informed by it. They feel like they're being talked down to or that they're being provided with, for lack of a better term, like news for the stupid. Like, it's going to be raining, turn on your windshield wipers and your headlights and slow down. Not things they can really feel informed by or can, it can drive their day or become more knowledgeable. No, I agree with you completely. I think the bigger problem is, is that the way we make money in local television news is that we have to constantly tease you along right. throughout mm -hmm. a right. newscast that's very formulaic, as you say, in the kinds of information we mm -hmm. provide. If we got to the point, and I, I've been arguing this for many years, if news organizations start saying, we're going to make our money off of the quality of the individual reports we do and how relevant they are to your lives, then maybe we break down that newscast model and we don't slip into something like this. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, there's just no reason for this to be the lead story. I just don't get it.